Hello and thank you for joining us for this episode of City Council Roundup. I'm your host Josh Lee and today we're going to do a quick recap of the meeting from Monday, May 20th, 2019. Oh, hey, uh, you, you came back. Oh, I never left. Dada never sleeps, so neither should I. That's some real dedication. Okay. Well, I think you're going to find this episode especially relevant because of data. Uh, we're going to talk about safe routes to schools and interlocal agreements, specifically agreements to provide fire services to emergency service districts number four and five, and a cooperative buying agreement for asphalt. Nice transition. I thought so. First, the safe routes to schools. This was a recommendation from staff to contract Gage Engineering for design services for additional sidewalks around Carlston Elementary, Cockrell Elementary, and Pearland Junior High South. This is part of a larger Safe Routes to Schools review study that the city jointly created with the independent school districts in our area. Council supported the design work for the three priority areas ranked highest and it passed. They just had questions about how the projects were chosen and prioritized and how we can move faster on all the Safe Routes to Schools projects. Through this program, construction costs are going to be reimbursed 80% through federal grants. Item number two, interlocal agreements with emergency service districts number four and five. These areas are newly formed emergency service districts or ESDs. Basically, areas that fall outside of Pearland city limits, but are within the city's extraterritorial jurisdiction in unincorporated parts of the counties, otherwise known as ETJs. Put it another way, it's Pearland's future planning and growth area. There has to be an easier way to explain that. There probably is, but ETJs is fun to say, and we really like acronyms. In the past, the city would respond to fire calls, but residents in those areas weren't contributing to city taxes. So residents inside the city limits were effectively footing the majority of the bill. Police calls for those areas were responded to by the county sheriff, to which the city residents also contribute property taxes. These districts were established to compensate a service provider for providing fire service. The agenda items that passed were the contracts between the newly established ESDs and the City of Pearland to formalize the City of Pearland providing service for those areas. For another area in Harris County, which did not move forward with a new ESD, that area will have to be covered by a different agency. The City of Pearland, though, will continue to respond to fire calls from the Harris County Public Park, Tom Bass. Finally, the other interlocal agreement that we're going to talk about that was approved was a cooperative buying agreement to purchase asphalt. The beauty of this type of interlocal agreement is that being part of a Brazoria County, which has a lot more roads than just Pearland to repair, we can benefit from their purchasing power, get the same materials at a lower cost, and then use internal teams and equipment to complete the repairs. That's all we wanted to cover today. Thank you for joining us. We hope that this series makes the information useful and helpful and easy to understand that those, for those that are interested. As always, you can find links to more information below or by visiting pearlandtx.gov. If you have any comments or suggestions, email Kathleen directly. I'm just kidding. Just leave them in the notes below. You can also click here to watch the last City Council Roundup video or here to subscribe to the channel. So, Kathleen, did you learn anything helpful or useful today? Uh, well, I guess interlocal agreements really do require dedication. Ah, oh, I see what you did there. That's my joke.